We'll continue now to another part of that area, 30th and Martin Avenue. Our Brandon Scott continues our late breaking news, Six View Live. John and Mallory, we are again near 33rd and Martin Avenue, a neighborhood that is still reeling from the violence that rocked this area earlier today. The crime tape is still up, blocking the roads in and out. I'll step out of the way so you can get a sense of the scene at this very moment. You can see a very heavy police presence in this area as well as officers continue their investigation. Throughout the day and into this evening, the crime scene has expanded with investigators literally on their hands and knees looking for even the small pieces of evidence. In fact, uh, just moments ago, we saw one officer using a metal detector combing the ground for clues. Now, I've spent all day in this neighborhood, and I can tell you that in some ways, it's very charming, almost unassuming. You wouldn't necessarily expect so much violence to happen in a neighborhood like this. But I did speak to a couple of residents who told me that they weren't surprised when they heard the hail of gunfire because they said gang violence has started creeping into this neighborhood. We don't know if this shooting was gang related, but the neighbors that I talked to today said that uh, they weren't shocked when so much violence occurred. Now joining me right now live is Matthew Smith. He has spent the day in the neighborhood as well. Matthew, tell us what you've learned. Uh, in fact, we just talked to uh, some family members of Marcus Wheeler just moments ago. They have been out here wondering for a while now what information they would learn. They had not heard uh, just a little while ago that he had died. I know that they were listening on that press conference when police did announce that Marcus Wheeler uh, did die. Uh, they don't want to talk on camera right now. Obviously, they're grieving. They're hurting. A lot of information is just coming into them, but they did want me to give you a little bit of information of just who Marcus Wheeler was. He was a father. They tell me that anyone that loved him, well, he loved him back even harder. The police did offer their condolences to Marcus Wheeler and his family, and just moments ago, my photographer was watching as detectives went to the door and knocked on that door and had a short conversation with the sister of Marcus Wheeler. We're going to stay in contact with him and try to get more information as it becomes available, but for now, reporting live near 33rd and Martin, I'm Matthew Smith. WOWT 6 News.